a traditional Scottish melody. The first five verses were written by Lady Nairn, a contemporary of Robert Burns. The last two verses were added at a slightly later date by Sir Alexander Boswell, who was in the polite 18th century term, the natural son of James Boswell. The Laird of Cockpen. proud and he's great and his mind is taken up with affairs of the state he wanted a wife his bra host to keep but favor we win was fascist to seek doomed by the dyke side a lady did dwell at his table ahead he thought she'd look well maclish's ain daughter a clubber's holly a penniless lass with a lang pedigree. His wig was well poothered as good as when new. His waistcoat was white and his coat it was blue. He put on a ring, a sword and cocked hat. And who could refuse the laird with all that? Mounted his mare and he raid cannily and he rapped at the yet oak lover's holly. Gay tell Mistress Jean to come speedily, Ben. She's wanted to speak with the Laird of Cockpen. Mistress Jean, she was making the elder flower wine. What the devil brings the laird here at such a like time? But she oft with her apron put on her silk goon, her much wee red ribbons and gay do a And when she came then, he bobbed full low, and what was his errand he soon let her know. Amazed was the laird when the lady said, nah. And with a lay curtsy, she turned it away. Dumbfoundered was he, but nay sigh did he gee. He mounted his mare, and he rode cannily. But it's often he thought as he rode through the glen, she was daft to refuse the laird a cockpen. And now that the laird his exit had made, Mistress Jean, she reflected on what she had said. Oh, for ain I'll get better, it's war I'll get ten. I was daft to refuse the laird a cock pen. Next time that the laird and the lady were seen, they were going arm and arm to the church on the green. Now she sits in the hall like a wheel tappet hen, but as yet there's nae chickens appeared at cockpen. <laughs> <laughs>